first surgery didn't go well, so now she's in second surgery. This is so weird. It's like surreal. I'm even saying this right now. On the E special, the Kennedy wedding, Lauren and Jason get married, premiering tonight at 8. Jason opens up about his mom's medical emergency. All of a sudden, my focus goes from getting married to my mom. Is she going to be okay? What if the surgery doesn't go well? It was really overwhelming. Jason also describes why he fell in love with Lauren. Lauren is, hands down, the bravest woman I know. She lost her left arm and eye in an airplane propeller accident. Jason foresaw Lauren telling her story on Dateline. Then when I interviewed her for E, I thought she'd be a perfect fit for my friend. I could tell that my injuries and all that just didn't even face him. I never thought she was half a person, ever. In the beginning, it takes a little time. Oh, she's got a prosthetic on me. That honestly was a couple weeks. Her eyes, it looks real to me. I you stop looking at the superficial things, and she made me a better man. She challenged me on things, and I just keep falling in love with her more and more each day. That's crazy to watch. Like I said, I haven't seen any of this. I'm going to watch the special right after this show goes off the air for the first time live. And uh, it, it was an incredible, incredible night. I, I couldn't believe, though, that my mom dislocated her hip hours before. She literally, she's a trooper. I love you so much, Mom. She, she got her dress on in the emergency room, and we wheeled her down just in time before the ceremony started. And I, it's kind of a whirlwind and a blur of how it went out, uh, or how it went down, I should say. So I'm excited to see it because it's, it, was, it was an incredible night. But what a testament to you. How did you hold it together that day leading up to the moments right before you walked down the aisle? Not you very did well. not know how your mom was doing. Not very well. When they say, oh, the first one didn't go well, it took two surgeons to try to get her hip back in place, I, my mind left the wedding and was, hey, is mom going to be okay right now? So it just, uh, it, it, w it was nuts that it happened that way. But thankfully, it, it all worked out. And G. I love you so much. I say it, and I will say it a million more times in this lifetime for introducing us over there, mm -hmm. just 10 feet away. That's where it all went down just, just two years ago. So I love you for that. Thank you. I love you too, Jason. I got to say, Jason, it was the craziest thing. When I was interviewing her, literally we were talking about finding love one day and what you know her future will look like in terms of that. And when she was talking about what she hopes for one day, it was like your face was just popped up in my head. And I was like, oh, my God, she has to meet Jason Kennedy. They would be perfect for each other. And she, you know, Jason, you say in the segment, I was tearing up. I'm sure you were too, Kat. But you say that she makes you a better man. I think she makes all of us better, like even Kat. Doesn't she make you a better woman? Oh my gosh. Like she's so question. inspiring. I just love her. Like even at the wedding, she's just so like always cool as a cucumber. Yes. It doesn't seem like anything phases her. She's just always so happy. She's such an inspiration, Jason. You got such a great girl. I appreciate it. I'm excited to have her here tomorrow. You got a great girl. Now we need great babies on the way. Did you get work there? We go. We're talking three. We're talking three. Back after this. Come on. Coming up, Brandy Glanville slaps.